evening, sir. How are you doing? I'm all right, you mate. Well? I'm That's very well, thank you. What's the reason for filming the site and taking photographs? I take, I've already spoke to the police over there. What police? Over there, at the helicopter base. Right, uh -huh. So, 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 so I'm just, just I, I don't like being surrounded, guys, yeah? So, no, we're not surrounding you. It's just officer safety. Whoa, standing I'm not going side. anywhere. Just officer safety. But why are you going round the back we of me? I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't know, know who you are. Well, I'm the police. That's who we are. We're having a wee chat. Right. What brings you here just today? Just stop surrounding you. Me. Stay We're there and talk. It's got all sorts of safety training. Right. I'm, I'm being detained. No, I'm stopping to speak to you and ask you why you're here. Am I being detained? Why are you here? Why am I here? I'm working. What are you working as? Right. This building's been broken into several times recently, right? Okay. It's a high security I'm not building, interested, right? isn't it? Okay, well, I'm explaining to you. I don't, I'm not really, I don't really want to hear it. All right, well, I'm explaining it to you. I don't want to hear okay. it. Right. Are you implying that I'm a burglar? You're, no, I'm not. Well, I'm asking you, what's your reason for being here? Am I obliged to answer you? What's your reason for being here? Am I obliged to answer you? What's your reason for being here, sir? We could be here all night with us. We could. Right. So what's your reason Do for being here? Do you suspect me of breaking any laws? I suspect you of, yes, possibly breaking the law, yes, yeah, right. What law? Okay, you're taking photographs of staff leaving the building, yeah? That's, that's not against the law. That's what's been reported to him. No, that's not against the law. They feel, they, by you doing that, they felt in a state of fear and alarm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, come yeah. on, guys. No, no, okay, that's, that's what they've told us. Yeah. They felt fearful because of the building they work in, that somebody's well, following them. I'm not interested in what's going on here. I don't right. even know okay. what they do here. I'm not right. here for this and building. for that reason, I'm stopping you to, to ask you who you are and what your reason for being here is. But what crime do you suspect me of committing? So I'll be a section 38 at the minute. Section 38, which is what? Our arm, okay? Right. So what about all the cameras everywhere so, that they've driving past? Who are you, sir, and why are you here? I'm here taking pictures of the area. I'm a photographer. Right, OK, that's fine. That's what I told the police down there at the police helicopter. That's what I told Colin, the security guard down there. Right, okay. We were having a nice, right, jovial, okay. well, yeah, members, chat. Members of the public that have come out of there. I felt fearful. You've just right. asked, you're being rude yeah. now. You've just asked right. me what I'm doing and I'm explaining to you. Right, go ahead. Right, so I spoke with the police. Everything was fine. Just a man taking pictures of everything I see as I'm on my travels. Soon I had a chat with Colin, the security guard down at the hut there. Jovial chat. I explained what I do. I take photographs and I sell them. That's my job. I'm a photographer. Colin was fine with that. We're having a laugh and a chat and then all of a sudden all hell broke loose for these guys, MIB, men in black, come bouncing out through the gate. Yes, because the problem is, sir, it's a high... The problem was, the they thought I was going to buckle, go down on my knees and say, whoa, what, what, oh, well, what have they, I done, guys? The worrying thing is they don't know what your There's nothing to worry are. about. I'm they a man with a camera. Are, sir. I don't problem. care what's going on here before. I don't care what well, they do okay, here. What's your first name, I'm sir? not here to do the... To film the building. What's your first name, sir? Am I, am I obliged to give you my name? Well, I suspect you've committed a crime, so what's your first name, sir? Am I obliged to give you my name? Yes, you're obliged to give me your name, oh, yes. You doing? Oh. So, what was the crime you suspect so me of? Section, section 38. 38. Criminal Justice License, Scotland Act. Say okay, what? So, uh, what's your first name? I'm, uh... You see, you've not even bothered detaining me. What's your first name, sir? Am I obliged to give you my name? Yes, you are. I haven't broken any laws. You, well, you, you can't demand my, my name yeah. in case I have broke the law. What's your first name, sir? You need to know if I've broke the You're law or not. You're a suspect, yeah. Uh-huh. At the minute. So, you so are you not aware of uh, public photography laws? You need to provide me your details, sir. Are you aware of public photography there laws? There may be public uh, photography laws, all right. But that's there may be. You're being stopped. You're being there stopped. may be. You're being stopped, okay? I'm being People stopped because they've you. told you lies. No, well, uh, yes, they have. I'm investigating that. Is this okay. a 999 call? Right, so what's Is your this first a 999 name, call? No problem. Are you responding to a 999 call? What's your first name, sir? Are you responding to a 999 call? I'm asking you for the last time, what's your first name? What's that? What? You're going to arrest me? Any identification me? on you? No. What's your first name, sir? Can we clarify the law first? I've already explained because that. Because I feel you're abusing times. the law. I've said that to you several times. What's your first no, name? No, I feel you're abusing your power. What's your first name, sir? If you you said there may be public photography laws, so taking pictures on a public road so, so is not against the law. It's not a crime. Neither is taking pictures of if there's cars going past in the background. That's not a, yeah. that's not a, that's not a crime. Is it? You need to be aware of the law. You need to be aware of public I photography didn't say you law. Taking photographs was breaking the law. What I've said to you, you've put people in a state I haven't of fear done anything. Alarm, yes. I'm walking down the road. Yeah. 
Yeah? That's all. That's all. Doing my job. That's all. The security office apparently has been obviously taking photographs of the helipad as well, is that Yeah, everything. I was round at BAE taking pictures of the ship they're building. Not be bothered round there, because I'm just taking pictures. No harm in anybody. Can you understand what's happened in this site before? Can I explain what's happened to you here? Oh, I've tried to explain. I know what's happened. These jumped up MIB have told you lies. I meet people like this every day. Every day I have to deal with these sort of people in the process of doing my job. Can I explain? Yes, yes. There's been a number of incidents here, one quite recently where people have broken into the building. I call and mentioned that, but that's not why I'm here. And of course thousands of pounds. You know, I'm not even from this area. I live in England. <laughs> I'm up visiting family. And, and I what, thought I'll come out what, and do a bit what, of work. You know, I've never happened, been here before. And what has happened in previous occasions that people have come along and done recon in the building and then the broken. What, what is it? Now, in fact, don't tell me. I don't want to know what it is. Right. I'm not here for the building. It's, I don't, it's, so. it's, it's a sense of location, so it's the people want to know why you're here, and people are concerned about why you're taking photographs. Yes, but and, and, when I'm not breaking any laws, why do I have to answer to security guard? They all come running out onto the public pavement. Because people are broken into here, and it's a very sensitive area. Right. It's, it's quite... If you don't know what the building is... I don't. Right. It's responsible for making things that people are quite interested in. I'm not going to say exactly what it is. I don't is. want to know, because it sounds like you'd be in trouble. If I say I know what they do here, I, I don't know, you're going to link me with something. Hi, guys. All right, how are you doing? All right, mate. So we're just, we're just having a wee quick chat just now. Um, oh, gentlemen, oh, here's been video on it. I think he's stopped video just now, just so you're right. I am, for my safety. Look how many of you is there? Okay, no problem. It's been video, video footage through the helipad. I think it's been taken out, so he deals with the contact with us, so obviously there's been... Issues here. We should have to do why he's here. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, so that's what I'm going to be chatting about. Okay. All right. So, yeah. do you understand what we're saying now? I do, yeah. But I know they've escalated the situation. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's yeah. a man with a camera, public yeah. pavement, breaking no laws, harming nobody. Yeah. I'm doing my job, lawful job. What is your job, sorry? For Thank you. I can see the camera. Is it journalism? Is it photography? Photography. Yeah. And I've started. I've started round at BAE. Right. Okay. I don't. I don't live in Scotland. I live in England. Okay. So I'm not visiting family. So I thought I've never been to this area. I'll go for a tour. I wander, get some pictures. I sell my pictures. Sure. Yeah. You'd be surprised what people buy. You know. So you just take thousands of pictures when you're out of everything. You know. Bushes, lampposts, it's amazing what people will buy if they need the photograph. So I started BAE, I was taking pictures around there of the ship they're building. I've come round, helicopter, took pictures of that. One of the guys got panicked, like these security guys, one of the police officers, come out, but we had a chat, everything was okay, I'm not harming anybody. Uh, and then I've explained to them, I was still talking to Colin, the security guard. Uh, he's not one of these guys. Uh, and we, we were fine, I explained what I do. Sure. I just take pictures, I sell them, yeah. and that's it. And I was asking him about this place, I said, what's all the razor wire for? Like, so he was telling me a bit about, didn't tell me what they do here. Right, okay. He was just saying the razor wire was there because they had a break in. Yeah. That's all he said. Yeah. And I was about to leave, me and Colin said goodbye, we bumped fists. I said, nice talking to you Colin, I'll see you later. Right. Okay. Then MIB arrived. Okay. Men in black, they all come bounding out like bouncers. Like that, you know, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Yeah. Then they're filming me, you know. One of you guys should be telling the, are you aware of GDPR? Of course you are, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah GDPR law. Yeah. So, two of them, him there, has been stood filming me for about 10 minutes now. Okay. Yeah? When I tried to explain to them what GDPR law is, because they didn't know. Sure. Yeah? So, maybe a quiet word with them that they're not just allowed to film members of the public, you know, without passing the footage on to their. Superiors, I have a right, a legal right, for a copy of that footage. Yeah? yeah. To make a request for it. Yeah. I've tried to explain that to them. Yeah. They're not interested. So okay. that tells me they're not very professional. That tells me they've lied deliberately to escalate the situation sure. to try and get me into trouble for doing nothing wrong. You know? They've, they, they, they've been put in their place, basically, by me, because they thought I was stupid. You know? I know the law. They don't. So that's why they're trying to get me into trouble now. You know? Um, right, so obviously... And I was finished, yeah. you know, said goodbye to Colin, sure. and I was on my way. Right, okay. So so just, just do you get, do you take commissions for these kind of works, or is this no, just, no, no. you just come out? Yeah, just, just come out random, okay. that's where you get the best pictures. If you plan something, never goes to plan. Yeah. Just go out with your camera, 
That's it. Best picture you can get. Yeah. Um, has Macaulay to ask for any of your details? Macaulay. Yes, but I'm not sure, because I broke no laws, I'm not sure I'm obliged to give you my details. Sure. You know? That's absolutely fine. No problem at all. So, um, yeah. My first name's Mark. No problem. Thank okay. you very much, Mark. I'm Thomas. Thomas. Rowan. 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 Yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. How are you doing? Cheers for taking the time to explain it properly. He <laughs> was a bit... No, that, that, listen, I was trying to find out what was happening, that's what I was waiting for. Aye, aye. Yeah. I'm getting told something, I need to find out what's happening, so I'm trying to find out what's happening. That's what I'm trying to find out. It's understandable, aye, but he was a bit too heavy, you know. All boys like that should be... It's usually young guys that are too eager to get you handcuffed, you know. Listen, it's just a wee quick phone call, so a wee quick chat, I'm sure it'll be. Aye. I'm not here to harm anybody. That's it. Uh, Where are you from anyway? Uh, Blackpool, I live in. Blackpool? Blackpool. Just uh, been down there nearly 40 years. but So, I mean, I'm telling you, I know the law. I know the laws in England. I like the back of my hand. I have to for doing my job. Because I get encounters like this every day. Is it different up here? <laughs> no. Public photography law is public photography law. No matter where you are. You know yourself, as long as you're not filming people or posting stuff without your permission. Like your faces, etc. No, no, I'm not deliberately. But yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Or, or, or taking people's personal registration place, cars and posting it. Well. That, that's not illegal either. Well, Up here, is it? Is it's, it? it's one of those kind of ones. You shouldn't be posting personal information with people ah. without their permission. Right. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but, so but you're not clarifying, is it the same law? Is public photography the same? It's, it's, it's Scottish law and English law are slightly different. I know, they're, I know they're, there's they're, differences, but... They're, they're similar, they're very, very, very similar. I don't know English law exactly the same as I know Scottish law, so I couldn't right. say exactly the same or not. But I believe they're slightly different, but not, because, not, not, not greatly. You know, my brother said to me, he said, so I'll, I'll go out today to get some photographs and that, some footage. And he went, he says, be careful up here. He says, police are different from England, Mark, you know? <laughs> but, chat, yeah. Know. He's been all right, that guy. It was a short one there, look. Him with the grey hair that was very abrupt. You know, I mean, they're supposed to be professional security guards. Calling the security guard down there, you know. He had everything in hand. There was no threat to anybody. He's got his uh, ID on show, like you're supposed to have. Yeah. It's a criminal offence not to have it on show. When these thugs come out, you know, like you know, like bouncers used to be back in the... You'll not remember the 80s. You know, when bouncers did what they wanted, you know. Uh, that's what it came out like, that attitude. Expecting me to comply and answer their questions. And that, that has been issues here, so that is a reason for yeah. they are the way they are. But they then proceeded to hide their ID, you know. So I, I advised them that it's a criminal offence not to have your ID on show, SIA. They didn't care, so they're not acting professional, you know. And they weren't being respectful to me, you know. I give respect where respect is due, you know. So that's it, so... But he'll be lying through their teeth now. So I'm still not detained, am I? We're just waiting to find the word they're saying. We've got a couple of minutes. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be it. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm able to wrap up the conversation on that. Okay. Yeah, I've still got some time required there. No problem. Give me two seconds, will you? Yeah, no problem. So type of photography do you do that? Just, just pictures. Uh, anything and everything. Anything and everything. I, it's, you never know what's going to sell, do you? So you take. Yeah. You know, I take pictures of a lot of daft stuff. And, you know, people say, what well, you take a picture of that for? But when you put it up on the the sites where you sell your photographs, it's surprising what people buy. You know? I, know, I know a friend that has a... Um, he is, in, he is actually in the RAF, mind you, but he does like uh, aircraft photography. Right, right, yeah. Aircraft and yeah. That. But yeah, respect. That's pretty big, that. Just because of the sort of installation, right? If you did sort of the same thing. Aye. So why did you know these guys? If the issue was like they thought I was going to be breaking in or whatever, you know, they should have spoke. I'm approachable, aren't I? You know. I think they're just sort of nervous because because there has been quite a lot of break-ins. Yeah, but there's ways and means of you know. Yeah. Colin was a hundred percent professional down there. Well, which one's Colin? Is he, he's not, is he gone? He's, he's down in the hut down there right. he was. There was two right. of them. They've got, I think, is it Mighty Security or something? Mm. But these guys, they're like a different level. You know? They've not acted professional. All they had to say was, 
you know, you know, just talk to me like Colin did, like yeah. like the police did over at the helicopter pad. Yeah. But you know. Is it just today? I'm just visiting. I've only been up a couple of days, I. But the thing is, they've been what I class as butthurt because I didn't comply. You know, they come, they come outward. You know, even as police officers, you treat members of the public with more respect. You know. Yeah. All right, the bad guys. You treat them how they deserve to be treated, but. That's what's wrong with them. They come out thinking, you know, they had some authority over me on a public payment. And they didn't know the law. So I've put them in their place. There's been a bit of argy-bargy, backwards and forwards. And I was on my way. I'm guessing this is just some sort of government building, is it? Not government, but they sell to the government, more or less. Ah, right. That explains well, a lot, then. I don't know, I don't know 100%. So does BAE, it's though. It's, it's basically so, like BAE. Yeah, but BAE don't act like them security guards. I've never run to BAE. No, I've, I've filmed a few. I've photographed a few. BAE's the planes, like down in uh, Salisbury, just outside Blackpool. Yeah. They've got jets, you know, out on the grounds, and you can photograph them. What, what is it, the building over there? Just imagine the ship is it? It looks like a naval ship, yeah. But it's sort of half of what's covered in plastic, you know, yeah. so we can't really see, but I mean, yeah, yeah. the shape of it looks like a, a naval ship. Like, come on, guys, eh? it's tea time. Yeah, <laughs> we've just started this shift. Have you? Those guys are on there. They've been on the other ship. My neighbour is on the radio in the background. He's on. Um, we just started. Don't forget to pass that footage on to your boss now. Monday morning, I'll be on the phone. And I'm not going to put you on grinder, I was only joking. I was only joking. <laughs> Come on, guys, Jesus. Can we walk up this way? <laughs> Don't forget to pass that footage to your boss on Monday now. Take care, sir. Thank you. But, hey, stop it. Good day, sir. <laughs> Trying to act all professional now because police officers are here. Mm. Am I not entitled to see their ID by law, seeing as they come out and confronted me? Yeah, if you can ask, if you ask them for it, yeah. No, they hid it. They hid it from you? Yeah, when they come out, and I tried to, the big fellow on the left, I tried to look to get his name because I like to talk to people on first yeah. name terms. As soon as I tried to look, he hid it in his jacket, so did the other one. Yeah. But if they're SIA, I don't know about Scotland, but in England it's a criminal offence not to have it on show. Is that the same up here? Do you know, Kev? What's that, sorry? SIA badges. In England it's a criminal offence not to have it on show. You know, security guards. Is that the same up here? I believe they're pretty men have them on show, yes. yes. Eh? I believe they are men have them on show, yes. Yeah. Hey guys, am I getting him for my tea? Two seconds. <laughs> Two seconds, I'm just trying to get some yeah, and then I'll be with you just a moment. Okay. Alright. I didn't get your name, I've got everybody else's name. No, you didn't, that's my shoulder No, I didn't know I did. Take my shoulder number. Have you not got a name? 
That's what I give. I give out my shoulder number, sir. I've got all their names. They all, I like to talk well, to people on a first that, name terms. That was nice of them, but I'm only giving you my shoulder number, sir. Right. I, don't, I, don't I think you know what this building does. No. You no idea what it does? No. All Colin mentioned was that they'd had a break-in, because I asked him why so much razor wire. And Colin said they'd had a break-in. So do you, who do you work for? Me. Uh-huh. Do you share your information with anybody else? Say that again? Do you share what you learned to anybody else? What I learned? Uh-huh. What do you mean? Well, what you learned about the sites that you go around. No, I sell my photographs. Yeah. You know? Okay. Who do you sell them to? Whoever. I don't know who buys them, just... All right. Online? Just photography sites online, yeah. All right. You know, I take pictures of daft things, you know, like that lamp post and, uh -huh. you know, a, a little weed there, I take a picture of that. You just take thousands of pictures and then... I won't be keeping you much longer, but we'll something to read out to you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Right. So, Mark, just in doing my inquiries down here, uh -huh. I have uh, a number of things that I'm looking at investigating. There's been an allegation made of threat or abusive behaviour, OK? Right. Um, so... Just as part of that, as a person involved, I'd be looking at getting your details. Right. Now, if you're willing to give your details just now, that's fine. Or there is a legislative requirement that I do have. Right. It's up to yourself whether you wish to provide them willingly at this point or if you wish for me to go through a legislative requirement. What does that mean? So... In the back of the van? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, uh, you can provide me your details just now. That's fine. Right. Otherwise, I read through the legislative requirement. Right. Should you be still unwilling to provide your details, you would be committing an offence. Right. Okay. Okay. So well, this is what you said, section 38. No, this is a different section. So. So se what's happened to 38? So section 38 is the offence that's currently under investigation. Under that, as I say, the legislative requirement you. is called section 13, Criminal Procedure Scotland oh, Act of 1990. Right. Okay. okay. So that's why they're two different section numbers. Right. So basically, what you're saying is, if I don't give you my name, I'm getting arrested. I will give you an opportunity with a full legislative requirement to do that, but yes. Right. Okay. But I want their ID as well. That's uh, one that you can have, but it's not something I'm going to give you at this time. So you want my details, but these guys are hiding their ID. And I will be looking at that later. Yeah. So I'm just going to say just now, in terms of Section 13 of the Criminal Procedure of Scotland Act 1995, I suspect you of having committed an offence, namely Section 38, Criminal Justice and Licensing Scotland Act of 2010, which is threatening or abusive behaviour. Well, this I is require, not why he said. Hold on. I require you to give me your name, address, date of birth, place of birth and nationality. You are not obliged to say anything further by way of any explanation, but anything you do say will be recorded and may be given in evidence. I also require you to remain with me while I verify your name, address, date of birth, place of birth and nationality, and note any explanation given by you. Failure without reasonable excuse either to give your name, address, date of birth, place of birth and nationality, or to remain with me yeah. when required to do so, I'm listening. constitutes an offence for which you may be arrested under Section 1 of the Criminal Justice Scotland Act 2016. So what's your name, sir? So can you put that down until we get your details, please? No. Thank you. So first name is Mark Mitchell. Right, what's happened to Section 38? Because he's just quoted You're something... You're still suspected of that, yes. No, 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 he's just that's quoted something different from under you. Under Section 13, that's how we get your details from you, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to give him my name in a minute. Because you're suspected of committing a crime, But yeah. you spouted something about that's filming people. Did. Sorry? You said Section 38, filming people in right. their cars or something. Th that's what raised the alarm for those people. There's also uh, other evidence that's came to light regarding Section 38. Is that right. it for that? Just now you need to give my colleague your details. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay, so what's your last name, Mark? And your date of birth? Right. And what is your place of birth? Uh, but I want this, because you're babbing on about something totally different from what he's just quoted me. So what, what I just read out to you there was... I right, suspect I'll explain you, to you having committed an offence, namely Section 38. I'll so that's explain what, what he said to me. Yeah? Sure. He said, he suspects me of committing a crime, Section 38, yep. Yep. filming people coming out of their workplace in their cars. Yep. Yep. That's not what you've just said, though. So, right. Section 38... You said... ...of the Criminal Justice, Scotland, Criminal Justice and Licensing Scotland Act 2010 yeah. is threatening or abusive behaviour. Right. Now, that behaviour is being constituted by the filming of people as well as potential calling of names and abuse of behaviour. So that's why that's there, okay? 
So was, who, what have I called who? So that's why we'll be doing further investigation into that. Right, okay. Right. Um, so what's your home address, Mark? At the moment, NFA. Okay. That's absolutely fine. I do remind you that I will require you to remain with me whilst I verify these details. Meaning what? Meaning that if I'm not satisfied and that you're just pulling an address out of somewhere, then I re require you to remain with me whilst I verify the details. Just 